Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 28th, so right around the full moon. Another full moon ringing, so what do we have? What do we have for around the 28th? Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords is clarity, taking a new approach, a new idea. <sighs> this is an awakening of some sort. Two of Coins. Two of Coins is juggling, going back and forth. This is information, truthful, factual information needing to be flexible, needing to adapt, taking a new approach. Somebody needs to take a new approach. They may need to accept the truth, be open. I feel like being open, open-minded, being open-minded, be flexible. Now this is a realignment. There is some sort of realignment here. Now this is a card of truth and power, the raw truth. Being open and honest. Somebody needs to be open and honest with themselves. They may need to look at something from a new perspective. Eight of Wands. What do we have in the past? Fear. King of Swords. King of Swords. So that is a decision. And that is a decision maker. Decision being made. This is a new perspective that is needed. This is gaining a new perspective through the truth, through the facts, through acceptance, through wisdom. We have a very intelligent individual here, very intelligent, very <sighs> to the point. It looks like a decision is, has been made. This is a difficult decision. A very, It does. It looks like it's a difficult decision by the look on this person's face. It's probably not an easy decision that has been made. The decision to take a new approach. There is going to be some fast forward movement. Things are going to change. A need to be flexible. This is very fast forward movement. This is triumphant news. Messages arriving. Things moving fast. This is also the rods of love. It really is. Being hit. You know, being hit by. To me, it's passion. But it is in a tarot deck. This is one of the cards I have looked up. Rods of love. Um, two of coins. This is a choice. This is a decision being made. Taking the next step. Somebody needs to take the next next step. They need to make the decision to do so. And I think they're going to. I think that right now they've been going back and forth. But I feel like the decision is being made. Or it's already been made. Because my King of Swords is in the past. To move forward very, very fast. And I think things are going to move forward very, very fast. This is a wake-up call. This is a change. Making a choice. Ah, Eight of Cups reversed. Six of Swords. This is taking a new approach. It really is. Somebody's going to be taking a new approach. They've been in an emotionally disappointing situation, pretending to be happy, Staying put, avoiding something. Maybe there's been a lack of self-esteem or emotional weakness. But this is going to a better place. Things are about to change really fast. We have somebody here that is making a very logical decision based on facts, based on the truth. Seeing something differently. So this is a new perspective that is being gained. We have somebody here that it's almost like changing their mind. It is because there's a lot of mind here. Okay. This is mind. This is mind. This is mind. And this is changing. It's like somebody is changing their mind. Maybe they're changing the mind, their mind about coming back or leaving or something like that. There is movement here, seriously, and it's fast movement, extremely fast. So things are going to move forward very, very fast. This is probably the end of some sort of emotional disappointment.
This is a realignment. I need to be flexible and adapt to some sort of change that is happening. Somebody's going to be receiving messages or they have received messages. These are very passionate messages. They're very truthful messages. They're dealing with somebody that is very authentic. This is an authentic, truthful, honest person. This person is telling the truth. It is. This is a truth speaker that is communicating. This is communication about the truth. Knight of Wands reversed. Nine of Coins reversed. And the Ten of Swords reversed. Now the Ten of Swords reversed is liberation. It is. It's the end of suffering. It is. It's the end of suffering. There's probably been a delay. We have somebody here. And I said lack of self-esteem when I was looking at this card. We have somebody here that has lacked self-worth. They've lacked self-esteem. But there's a change now. There is a change. Getting to a better place. Maybe somebody needs to leave their troubled thoughts behind because it's thoughts. Somebody has been suffering and it's mind. It's in their mind. And, I, and I'm sorry, but it is in your mind. Somebody's been letting their mind get the best of them. Knight of Wands reversed. Nine of Pentacles reversed. This is somebody that is unstable. Maybe they've been emotionally unstable because of this Eight of Cups. Unstable, insecure. These are insecurities. We have somebody here that is insecure. Lacks confidence. We definitely have somebody here that lacks confidence. Fearful. Very fearful. Fearful of what? Fearful of change. Fearful of taking that next step. But this is a wake-up call. This is awakening and taking a new approach. I think we have somebody here that is about to run into something that is very passionate. You know, it's like they're going to run into it. It's, it's uh, they step right into this. And this is freedom from a painful situation. It is. This is the end of suffering, getting to a better place, going to a better place, moving on from the pain. This is moving on from the pain. Could happen very suddenly with the Knight of Wands. This is, this, but that Eight of Wands is really good news, whatever it is. It's good news. It's fast forward movement. It's positive change. Positive change. So we do have a positive change here. This is the end of emotional discontent. It really is. Somebody needs discipline. They need discipline. They need to let, deal with their insecurities. They need, to, they need to think positive. And they're not thinking positive. They need to think positive. There's an opportunity for happiness here. A lot of happiness. Extreme happiness. Fulfillment. Permanent love. So I do believe somebody is needing to let go of their insecurities and they're going to be seeing something differently. They've probably been having a hard time with some sort of acceptance because the Ace of Swords is acceptance, accepting something or trusting something. It's time to take a new approach. We have a very honest individual here. This person is has a lot of integrity, right? There's definitely going to be a conversation that is had uh, that is very uh, factual. 
Okay, there's going to be a very truthful, honest conversation that is had. This conversation is going to speak truths, not lies. This is not lies. This, these are truths. Okay, we got somebody here who's going to be telling the truth. They want to move forward. They want to take a step. They're being honest. They're being truthful. But there's, there's definitely fear here. There's insecurities that are in the way. So there's going to be a need to accept change, a need to have faith, because twos are about faith and trust. Somebody needs to have faith and trust, and they need to take that next step and move forward, away from the pain. So there's, there's, there is like a healing energy here with that Ten of Swords reversed. Justice. So this is, uh, justice is a card of integrity. It's about doing the right thing and everything turning out as it should. Everything is going to turn out as it should. This is about being honest and upfront. Truths coming out. This, we, have, we have a truth speaker here. We also have the end of a painful situation. There could also be news of legalities that are coming up. i got to be honest. Somebody may be receiving some news, uh, and it could have to do with legalities, you know, the legal system, the justice system, the law. Something it could even be broadcast on the news. i just got to be honest. Seriously. If somebody has broken the law, it could be on the news, okay? Because this is news, this is law, this is law, okay? So I don't know if somebody's broken the law, you, you could hear something on the news. We definitely have the end of a relationship where there has been a lot of pain, and I think somebody's about to get the relationship that they deserve. Now, there's two sides to every story. It's interesting because we have two sides here. Here we have pain. Here we have a blessing. That's, isn't it amazing how they come out? So there's go, this is a rebalancing, and this is a rebalance. It's a, re, it's a balancing of karma. Somebody is about to... So on one hand, somebody could, you know... Because there's always... There's two sides to every story. And there's there's there's... Two people here. There's two sides. So on one hand, we got somebody that's going to be getting the relationship that they deserve, and on the other side, we we may have somebody that you know his. Uh, I mean, the Ten of Swords reversed is a near death experience, right? It could be. It is uh, a chronic health problems. It is things getting worse. It is. But it is also freedom. It's also liberation. So somebody is going to be broken free from a relationship. That is emotionally dis discontent. There's another option here. There is. There's two options. There is two options. Somebody's been going back and forth with their options. I feel like it's decision time because the King of Swords is decision. It's decision time. This is a difficult decision, but it's decision time. It's time to move forward. Justice, justice is about to be served in some manner. Okay? Some sort of truth is coming out. This is definitely the truth. This truth changes everything. A final decision is being made. This is a final decision of some sort. It's not an easy decision. Something is finally over as well because this is finality. This is a 10 and this is a 10. So something is finally over and it's going to bring a spiritual blessing. This is happiness, fulfillment. This is uh, having it all, right? This, this is emotional abundance the ten of cups if we have somebody here that has been single okay they've been they've been independent they've been alone they've been um, not putting having any desire or putting any energy into a relationship because 
of their emotional discontent, something could suddenly change. Okay? There's definitely a change. Somebody's taking a new approach here. And we do have a lot of abundance that is coming in. This is something permanent. This is a permanent change. This leads to uh, long-term success. We have something permanent that is coming in. But it will require being flexible and having faith and trust and looking at things from a new perspective and accepting the truth. If something is over and just about killed you, it's over. Focus on your blessings. Focus on what's in front of you. Be honest and upfront with yourself. Be truthful with yourself. And self is here, right here. Somebody hasn't been honest and truthful. There is an opportunity here. This is an awakening. Somebody is going to be getting a wake-up call of some sort. And it could just be an epiphany that it's time to move on. Somebody is making a choice. And it is a big choice. And this choice leads them to permanent success. Or maybe it's a new relationship or permanent relationship. Something solid, something long-term. This is extremely abundant. Prosperity, right? Extremely comfortable. All these tens, completion, completion, completion. We do have a completion. We got three tens. Ten, 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 completion, completion, completion. We have the completion of a cycle where there's been a lot of suffering. There's been a lot of pain. It's over. It's over. Justice is being served. I feel like whoever has caused the pain... They may be chronically ill. I just got to be honest with the Ten of Swords reverse. That, is, that could be a chronic illness. Whoever has been on the other side of the scale whoop, is going to be receiving a happy spiritual blessing. So there is a blessing that is coming in for whoever's on that side. Have faith and trust that everything happens for a reason. You know, I've said it before with the two of pentacles. That's powers. That's, that's earthly powers, okay, that are larger than ourselves. That are realigning, realigning somebody to their true purpose. But you're going to have to take the step. You have to take the step. You have to have faith and trust. 222 two, two means faith and trust. Faith and trust in a partnership. Believe. Let go of your insecurities. Take that step. You might need to have blind faith. Trust. This is an opportunity for happiness. Somebody's going to be communicating with an individual that is very honest and upfront. But there's been so much pain and suffering with this Ten of Swords that there's no faith. You need to have faith. So it's time to make a decision. Step forward with blind faith. Good luck.